Hello, this is Mary Roddy from Charing Cross Hospital in London and the UK Osarix User Group. This video is produced for delegates who attended the recent Imperial Osarix Masterclass at the Royal College of Radiologists and is a revision tutorial covering how to optimise CT series for use in teaching or examining FRCR candidates. At the time of recording, I am using Osirix Lite version 6.5 and in previous tutorials we imported uh, several cases into our documents database and what we're going to do today is to look at the case called Kira Knightley and you will see that we have two series, uh, an arterial phase and a portal phase CT of the abdomen and pelvis. I should emphasise that these cases have all been anonymised and given fictitious names. The portal phase study has 367 images, which is probably too many for a teaching or examining set, so we're now going to revise how to reduce the numbers. The first way to reduce the number of images in a series is to export it as a new DICOM series, and we do that by pressing the export to DICOM button and this time rather than selecting current image only select all images of series including. Now if we keep the interval at 1 we will export all 367 images and the series will not have reduced in size. If we export every second image the series number reduces to 183 and if we export every third image the series size comes down to 122 images. We also have the option of trimming images from the top of the series by using this slider bar and trimming images from the bottom end of the series by moving the other arrow. This is a useful strategy if you have, for example, a CT of the chest, abdomen and pelvis and it's only the chest or the pelvis that you're interested in. So having reduced this series size to 110 images, we will save it as CT 1 and 3 and press OK. We now have a new series containing only 111 images. Using that technique, we have discarded two out of every three images, but there is another way to reduce the series image size, and that is by thickening the slice thickness. The way to do that is to go to the top toolbar to the icon called Thick Slab, and on the list of menu items you will see something called Mean. If you select that, you can then change your slice thickness and in this case it has defaulted to a slice thickness of 5. We can now export this new series of 5mm sections by using the export to DICOM button, selecting all images of the series and you can see that the new series contains only 73 images and we press OK. So when we look back at the database now we have three series, we have the original series with 367 images, the second series where we exported 1 in 3 images which has a total size of 111 images and a series where we thickened up the slice thickness to 5 millimeters, where we have a series of 74 images. Let's compare these images side by side. We have the original series on the left, we have the 1 in 3 series in the middle and we have the 5 millimeter slice thickness on the right. If we scroll through these you'll see there's very little difference in resolution between the original series and the reduced number series but there is clearly reduced resolution in the 5mm slice thickness and I think you can see this particularly well when you compare this polycystic ovary which looks identical on these two series but we have lost resolution here. If we make coronal reconstructions of these three series, you will see that there is significant loss of image quality in both types of image reduction strategy, and therefore 
If you want to save coronal or sagittal reconstructions of your images, it's best to do that from the full dataset. To make a coronal series, you need to go to your original dataset and select the orientation button on the toolbar. This is the coronal reconstruction and this is the sagittal reconstruction. So if we hit that button, we can see our coronal reconstructions in high quality. To export a coronal series, press export to DICOM, select all images of the series including, and for coronal series you will need to prune a lot of images from the front of the patient and from the back of the patient, and that has reduced the image series down to 287. To reduce the image number still further, we can increase the interval, and by going to an interval of 1 in 3, the series size is 95 images, which is a good number for teaching. The final topic I would like to revise with you in this tutorial is the formation of MIP reconstructions, or maximum intensity projection. So, for this task, we will use the CT thorax of Clint Eastwood. These are the thin sections in the axial plane. To create the MIPs, we need to go to the thick slab icon in the top toolbar and select maximum intensity projection. We will now see MIPs. These are 5mm thickness. We can change that up or down if we want. To export these MIPs as a new series, simply go to Export to DICOM, select all images of the series and decide where you would like the series to start and finish and then press OK. If we now go back to the database window, we will see that in addition to our original Axial series, we have a new series of 55 MIP reconstructions. So, in summary, this revision session has covered different ways to reduce numbers of images in CT series imported into OSRX Lite for teaching purposes, the creation of new series of CT images in different orthogonal planes, and how to create MIP reconstructions. I hope you found that helpful. Thank you very much.